enemies with carry. Oh my god! Vinny, it still says Tetris. You have, um, your information is, is bad. You have outdated information. You were not furnished with all the informations you could use or need at this point in time. Incorrect informations. Vinny, it still says Red Dead Redemption 2. I wouldn't be surprised. The amount of time I put into streaming that fucking game. Somehow it just permanently broke. Which is database. Now, now I can start the Craig name chapter with a fresh mind. By the way, this is Chrono Trigger. Look. This is where you get the red rock to um, repair Frog's legendary sword, the Massa Moon. Ready, death. It is time. Oh my god! Succulent peach. I was just like, yeah, I want, I want some of that. Peach punches him in the face. He dies of a burst blood vessel. Oh god, Nicolas Cage voicing Bowser. I could, I could eat a peach for hours. Secret card. Moon cleft. I mean, I'm going backwards. Maybe I'm supposed to go backwards, I don't know. I, in fact, don't believe I'm really supposed to be going backwards. There does not appear to be anything... Of course I remember that, chat. Of course. When did that happen? When did they tell me left, right, middle? That was on a previous stream, right? Oh dear, did you see them? Over there. Oh, this is a new... This is a new lad. This is a, uh... That massive beast is a muth. They roam the grassy plains of Craig. Max HP is 100. Attack is 5. They can trample nearly anything. They also have a lot of HP, so they aren't easy to take down. Many Kragnarians have risked fighting moths just to uh, prove their bravery. Oh. 
wrong. Well, down is the same button, you know, to go down the pipe and to use Bowser's fire, because, you know, let's, uh, let's go back to the days of the NES controller. I watched some fucking video about Metroid Other M. I don't know why. I don't know why. And it was talking about how Sakamoto really wanted to, um, limit the, um, the designers, because through limitation comes creativity, so that's why the, um, the Wiimote was turned on its side for that game. Was it Geek Critique? I think it was. So, as a result, you have a tiny D-pad moving Samus in a, you know, 3D world. Legendary cut of meat that briefly doubles your attack. I mean, I'm happy the Switch is successful, but I'm also really happy it's not just Wii 2. Which, as we all know, was attempted. Sorry, it would have been Wii 3 at that point, which is actually a pretty good comic. Give me a second. Just give me a second here. I'm gonna brute force this. Okay, cool. All right, it's a ten. That's a 10-entry long combination. Now I see why people were complaining about this chapter. Okay, let's go all the way to the right this time and see if there's anything interesting over there. Probably not. Sorry, I just love the Mario Party version of Luigi and Mario. Well, not so much Mario, but more Luigi's voice. Oh yeah, baby. Always forget about that. Every stream, I forget that that's the one that you don't want to touch. Every stream. Thought you could jump on those with carry, said someone. Oh, me too! I absolutely thought I could jump on, on them with carry. You know what I need? I need banana juice. Which is, incidentally, a good character in Smash Brothers. Still looking bummed, bruh. That's not the face of a person getting their crag iron. Jasper, I'd know what you need to put a smile on your face. Crag, you now. You hear it? Ha, <laughs> Jasper, I'd not tell you for free. But hey, be chill, bruh. Jasper, I'd not want money. Jasper, I'd just want you to say please real quick. Then Jasper, I'd tell you. Excuse me, why? 
you not hooking Jasperoid up. Jasperoid must hear, please. Do it right, brah. Really, it's case sensitive? Hmm, Jasperoid not sure that one time is enough, brah. How about one more time? Say please, one more time. Cool fucking chapter. Hmm, Jasperoid not feeling that, bruh. Maybe you not giving it oomph. You say it three times and put some Craig into it, bruh. Now please, three times. <laughs> You're not hooking Jasperoid up. Jasperoid must hear, please. But he typed it with a cap. There was a, there was a capital that that time. Bad, bad gameplay. Bad. Yeah, nice, bruh. Jasperoid can tell you really won't hear big secret. Jasperoid feeling it, bruh. So here information nug for you. It kind of long, though, so you maybe write it down so you not forget, bruh. You got tool for writing with, um, cra within Craig's reach? I do. I have Dick Tracy cards to write this stuff on. Priceless Dick Tracy cards. You make sure to get this all down, bro. Next time you find three blocks land up, you bet bonk like this. M R L L R M R L R R Right, right, what the fuck? All these two? M R R L M M L L L R L L L M M Sick game. That it, you write it down, you do do it right, something interesting happened, bruh. It's been good time, bruh. Have a nice Craig. Vinny, the chat can't help you here. The bot sees us helping you as spam. I don't know, like, what if- what if it dropped me in the Flora Kingdom? You know what I mean? Like, what if the warp took me to the- to the enemy? I'd be helping them instead, and I'd be having a wonderful time. We'd be hanging out. I get to kill some crags. It's like, I get what they were trying to do with, say, Super Paper Mario, like, the, the action gameplay, to mix it up a little bit, and I, I can appreciate that, but it's not even as tight as, like, an actual Mario platformer. Like, I can't use the bomb while I'm in the air, for example. You can't even do bombos.
Bowser looking dapper in a white tux. I overall do enjoy this game, but I can see both sides of the argument. Though less so the people that utterly hate it. That I don't get. I, I don't think this is a hateable game in any way, shape, or form. I think this is actually a very good game so far. But yeah, it's it's got some it's got some stupidity. Okay. To each their own. Ag agreed, absolutely. But I, I think it's it's cool to be able to play a video game and see both. You know, some good things and, and some not-so-great things, and to not just be, you know, um, a Nintendo apologist for everything they do, because they make- they have made some not-great games. Some within this very series, if you can believe it. Also, the, the, the other thing about, um, the Mario Party series is there are, like, I feel like there are more bad Mario Parties or mediocre Mario Parties than there were good ones. Don't get me wrong, Mario Party 1, 2, and 3, choice. Excellent games. 4? I like 4. I don't remember anything about 5. I don't remember very much about 6. Maybe it was a little... Maybe I remember a little bit about 6. Um, I didn't hate it. And then from there on out, until Super Mario Party... Aside from Mario Party 3DS, which I like because it had that stupid Choices Voiced minigame. Choices... Choices Voiced... Two to seven were all great. I don't remember seven. I just remember there was like a diminishing returns point with Mario Party for me, where every time I'd, I'd buy one in the hopes of it being really great, it ended up being mediocre at best. And I was just like, oh fuck, I wasted more money. But Super Mario Party is good. I just wish it had more online, and I wish it got some fucking DLC. Anyway. Absolutely ridiculous. Why am I going left, you may ask? When I can very clearly go right. I don't know. Clearly there was no reason for me to be doing this. I thought Breadward would be there.
gonna get my crag on, bro. Wait, that was the whole uh, chapter, but... There wasn't really a lot to do there. Well, yeah, that was the whole chapter. There, there wasn't a ton to do, except... ...to write down a long fucking code. In pursuit of the abducted Kragnerns, Mario and Co. Head, headed for the Gap of Crag. What did the Floro Sapiens want? And where was King Crocus with the pure heart? Despite their hustling pace, our heroes never caught sight of the Floro Sapiens. But Mario didn't give up. He knew his fleet feet <laughs> would catch them eventually. And there are the Captain Falcon emotes, as expected. There! We caught up to the fiends! Someone said chat's so predictable, isn't it? I'm predictable. Humans are predictable. You spend enough time with humans, you find out... We're on loops. It's fucking Westworld. But that's okay, because if you go so far out of your way to be unpredictable, you end up just coming across... like... Like, you don't have any real convictions. I think a nice middle ground between, like, chaos and order is nice. Gotta ride that line, you know? Somewhere in between Bart and Jock. Batman and Joker. The broccoli? Fresh veggie. You don't want to go too jock, though. The jocker? I mean, if you get too close to jocker, that could be a slippery, uh, slope, you know what I mean? Wow, this got really, uh, interesting. This is a very interesting conversation. What the fuck? Speaking of unpredictable... A tablet with a symbol of water chiseled on it! It's not like you could do anything underwater anyway. In Mario game. When you play the Mario, the Mario, if you have Fire Flower, you can shoot and you can kill underwater. But if you don't, in most Marios, you you're gonna have a hard time. Disappeared down a pipe, did they? What am I blind? Shut up! <laughs> Actually, yes, you kinda are, Bowser. Is that Spike? This chubby brawler is called Clubba. Huh. Interestingly, they love to take naps. HP 20, attack is 3, they will fall asleep if you lose them. So take them out before they wake up.
Jesus, these fucking piranha plants just... Endless supplies of vegetables and fruit. You know what they should do? They should start a website. Maybe get a phone number. Also, does it make anyone else irrationally- in, Irrationally? <laughs> what? That's not a word. Irrationally upset that fruit isn't spelled F-R-O-O-T. It's just me, right? Not in the slightest. Very slightly. Well, why aren't we, you know, the English language is really weird because we should be pronouncing it fruit. Something Goshi related? Oh, you know me, I'm just trying to argue against long established conventions of the English language. Just a, a typical stream night for me. There, there, there. Good Radiohead song, at least. I was listening to Radio Friend again. I just, I went, you know, down the wormhole again. As you do. And I'm um, surprised at how many songs still really get me in their catalog. But specifically, the stuff I was listening to today was uh, the In Rainbow stuff. Just, um, what a great album. It, it's, yeah, 15 Step in particular is, oh god. It, well, it, yeah, it's oh god, it's amazing, but I like Jigsaw falling into place. Still, like, probably the best. I mean, Reckoner, they're all amazing, I don't know how you choose, but... 15 Step and Jigsaw are the ones that I keep coming back to lately. The weird fishes. Let me tell you about weird fishes. It's good. I'm kind of upset that we may not get another album from them. For, um, for another year or two. How to disappear completely? Yeah. Apparently, Michael Stipe from REM was um, helping Tom through the bullshit of celebrity when they hit it really big with OK Computer and. Um, he told him to repeat the mantra, I'm not here, this isn't happening, just over and over and over again, whenever he was all kinds of fucked up in the head. And he did, and it worked a little bit, and he wrote a song about it called How to Disappear Completely. So now you know. Have you listened to Tom's solo stuff? Yeah. Um, yeah, I like it a lot, but I, I'm slowly working in my way through Suspiria, the Suspiria soundtrack. What the fuck is this thing? That's a megabyte. It's an evil skull that soars through the skies. Max HP is four, attack is one. It will take one damage per attack. It'll eventually fly off, so don't worry about defeating it every time. No one knows where they... No one knows where they come from or where they go.
What? What? You know, get rid of. Holding onto that shell for no reason. I got a guy who can do this. Chisel! The Phantom Thread soundtrack by Johnny is really good. Yeah, I'm a little slow to check out their solo stuff, but I... I think that that's something I've been meaning to also check out for a while. I went to a uh, Sam Ash today to try to find a guitar pedal called the Mono Synth. It's a new Electro Harmonics pedal. And uh, they didn't have it. Even though they said they were shipping it and they said that these particular stores have it, they didn't have it. But it's a synth pedal and it's really interesting. And I, I can't I can't wait to pick it up. But um yeah, I was listening to, to Radiohead on the way there and then my GPS was like turn left on Greenwood Avenue or something, and I was like, huh. But yeah, it's, it's cool. It sounds really good. I know um, I've delved into the bastard territory of music's, uh, music conversation. And I want you to know that you have my sympathy, my deepest and most sincerest sympathies for having to listen to... ...to this. <laughs> Synthesizer opinions? I don't know a lot about synths, but I do... I use a lot of VSTs. Vacuum Pro, I think, is one I'm using at the moment that I'm really enjoying. It's a yellow block, it will break if you hit it with a hammer. Hammer. Vinny, do you want to talk about the history of Limp Biscuit? Well, one day, there was a pool of vomit in a bar. In this bar, they played things like 90s rock, some rap, lots of eclectic music, and maybe even a little bit of, like, new metal. And from one of these vomit pools that a number of people have vomited in, overnight, they, they didn't clean it, they forgot to clean it. But each person that vomited into it had a different musical style. And overnight, when the lights were off, lightning struck the bar. And from the vomit puddle, the figure of a humanoid rose. Slowly. Filthy. It looked in the mirror, and it grabbed a hat from the floor, and it called itself Fred. And then Limp Bizkit started. He rose from the grave, crossed the That's an item. Use items to call a oh. Potent drink that makes you briefly double your attack. It was a good item? Yeah, but I already have, um, bone cut. I have the legendary meat. Vinny, have you already started saving money to buy David Gilmore's sweet black strat? 
As much as I would love to say that I've, I've inherited Gilmore's Black Strat, I wouldn't be worthy. Um, and it's also probably gonna auction for over $150,000. So no, I'm, I'm quite... I'm quite good, thank you. Sell your house for it. Yeah, I mean, you can live inside of a guitar. <laughs> and if you get hungry, you can eat the guitar, too. Showed it last, did you? Good play! I've not been made to wait like this! Since that fine last stood me up long, long ago! You didn't, uh, break my concentration, didn't you? Ah, uh, you, you likes the cheating, eh? Sorry to disappoint you! You think I'd fall for a Bush League move like that? Well, I'm afraid this fellow is terribly misguided. Ah, uh, misguided! Fargal! That's not even a real word, you squishy bug! Quit your yapping now! It's time for us to settle it once and for all! No matter how often we do this, it will end the same. Just step aside. Ah! Big talk for a wee little weird-looking butterfly! I'll be wanting an apology in writing, and I'll want it written with your face! Salutations, O Chunks. Oh, salutations, O Chunks. You. Ah, once again we meet like two ha large hairy Vikings on a storm tossed schooner. schooner. <laughs> what do you want, Dementia? Don't be needing any help. Ah, you'll just get in the way. Ah, quadrillion pardons. Far be it from me to be a hindrance. Far, far be it. As it happens, I merely have an acquaintance in this land. I was just saying hello. Seeing hello, eh? Yes, truly, and I saw you, and I thought perhaps my magic can aid in this fight. Ah, rest assured, I'll hardly be underfoot. You fight to your heart's content. Ciao! Whoa! That doesn't sound too bad, I guess. Maybe I misunderstood that weirdo. Well, any anyway, you've got a lot, uh, you lot are in for it now. Meet the new and improved old chunks. That's old chunks. He he's Count Black's main muscle. Uh, HP 40, attack 2, he can grab you by the feet and hurl you if you're in reach, he'll toss you, so keep your distance. But you can turn the tables on him and use the all to send him flying. Holy shit. Is he posing? Hey, hey, cool, cool Wiimote, but maybe we can turn this time, asshole. Oh, no! Blarg it all! Bad enough that you beat me once, but twice is too much to bear! How can I show my face to the kite now? Hey! A kite! Put me out of me misery! <laughs> Good idea! Get on with it! I'm serious! I've no regrets! Well, no, perhaps I do regret not confessing me love to that sweet lass! But no! That's no way for a brave warrior to talk! But his time comes around at last! So do it now! Now! Hey, finish me! End me game! Well, salutations, oh chunks. How are things, hmm? Dem Dementia, look, honestly, 
This is kind of important! How about some privacy, eh? Yes, yes, of course, I understand. Your honor must be satisfied. But, oh, Chunks, before you let your game be over, humor poor little me for a bit. I have something I rather think you'd enjoy. I do wish that you would try it out for me. You crazed loon! It's not the time for... Oh, it's not the time. Hmm, not the time for something that will aid Count Black. Oh, what are the kind? Eh? Well, that do change a thing or two. Hmm. Fine then. You lot, you took enough of your beating for today, so I'll let you off easy like. I'll tell you this though. You better work on your skills by the next time we meet! I think we lost like 400 viewers since I started doing the O-Chunks voice. Wait, what about all that drivel about not showing your face to the Count and such? Hey, Shay, I live for the King! I couldn't end my game without the Cecil! Me weak, my, my heart is weak, rather. Sure, so I'm done with it. From day on, I'm all brawn, no brain! The past be nothing to me! All that matters is Count Black's future! All for him! Chunks away! Ah, it is time to part! Ciao! Man, what a crybaby! Still not as loud as the coffee from the other night. The hell am I doing with this Josh statue? Remember the TV? Nope. I did it. I remembered the TV. That one just tells you to drown. Items are worthless. Yeah, I'm beginning to feel that way. Just use them on bosses. Well, I mean, we just had an O-Chunks battle. It's worth a shot. What did you expect? I don't know, a secret of some kind. 
I see that pipe in the background. Oh! Okay. I don't know if there's a particular order. Well, I didn't hear anything interesting, so I'm gonna assume there's a particular order. Okay, now that was a brute force. Whoa, whoa, wait, what? Hey, yo. Wow, getting nothing. So you ignoring me? Or is that a yes? Better try it one more time. Please talk to me. Nice, sounds good. Been a while since I heard voices. Been a while since I talked. You gotta tell people how you feel, or they don't know. You gotta talk and no one hears you. So listen, weird question. You got a motto or what? Whisper it to me, huh? Oh, yeah, that's perfect. I am loving that. Real good wording, real good timing. You really got me right here in the heart. Sack. And on that note, hang on a quick sec. Sack. So I'm, I'm a 33-year-old man-child. So, yeah, that's your motto. Words to live by, right? Right on. Good stuff. Feels like I know you now. What really drives you? Gotta say, it's inspiring. I haven't felt like this in a while. Feels kinda like when I first became a Pixel. Gotta get on board with this good feeling train, you know? I'm sticking with you! The Hammer Pixel, called Kudge, has joined your group. Swing that hammer to do some serious damage. You can even break giant yellow blocks. And brown bricks. Yeah, feeling good. Yeah, got a ton of pent-up energy. Let me tell you. Oh, you actually get a real hammer from it. You don't actually, you don't use the pixel as a hammer. Could have made it say fuck. After repelling O chunks, Mario and Co. followed the Floro Sapiens underground. It was the hideout of the Floro Sapiens just up ahead? Wow, it's dark and narrow. Hey, who just kicked me? Sorry, all me. Our heroes followed the long, dark corridor, listening goes of their own voices. As they groped their way along, what a choice of word. 
the light at the end of the tunnel grew brighter. They had finally arrived at the inner sanctums of Floro Sapiens. The Cragnowns, kidnapped from the downtown of Crag, from downtown of Crag, had to be around somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna dare. I see people are sour pleasing, so this must be a good one. It's kind of funny how Mario gets a hammer this far in the game. Coming to you live from the foul darkness that the Flora Sapiens call home, lesser Kragnarns would weep softly. No one has set foot in this cave and emerged alive, but some make history with sheer goal and willpower, and Flint Cragley is such a man. Cragley, hey! Into the Floro Sapiens Cave of Doom, a Flint Cragley crag trotting adventure. No, no, wait a second. That'll never play well in the sticks. How about, uh, Cragley, hey! Taste danger. Flint Cragley vs. Uh, versus a uh, recragonated mummy in Floro Sapien Central. I wonder if that'll test well with the weekend audience. Those Cragnons are fickle. Excuse me, sir. Cragley, hey! Oh, suddenly, out of the cave, mists, mysterious slavering creatures lurched into view. Did they hope to dine on the filet of Cragley? Would our hero meet their mandibles? Tune in after this brief commercial break to witness the torrid conclusion. Great, cut, print, wrap it. Now, what do you adults want? What are you doing here? Huh? You're in a quest to uh, find a treasure called the Pure Heart? <laughs> it just. Vinny, as an Aussie, I am very angry with you. This is an Australian. This is, uh, some, something else. It's totally different. And, uh, oh, check this out. He's like, uh, the reason I did this, he reminds me of, like, the Crocodile Hunter. Yeah, spectacular, just fabulous. Uh, but not the Australian Crocodile Hunter. Some other random, mysterious, made-up, uh, all-time coincidence. That's what it is. Just great to meet fellow adventurers, really. It is. I'm ecstatic about this. Listen, call me Flint. I'm a heck of a guy to know. Best Craig Trotter of all time. Our time, rather. You may know me from Flint Cragley. Craig Trotter. Which airs this weekend, uh, airs weekly, rather, on Craig Vision. That's why I pretended to be kidnapped. Uh, I'm filming another epic show. Unfortunately, my idiot crew wandered off somewhere, so unprofessional. So much crag. Just crag forever. Yeah, I turned away. I tur How do you say turned as an usher? Uh, never mind. I, I turned away for a second and they vanished into the pale blackness of this cave. The worst part is, they have the key that'll get me deeper into this infernal abyss. You there. If you run into my crew, tell them I'm waiting and stomping impatiently. Pure adventure personified. Thank you kindly. If we run into them, fine. Oh. My name is Flint. If you see, if you see my son, tell him I've been looking for him. His name is. Uh, never mind. It's not important. Never thought I'd see Bowser use a hammer.
Use hammers in Mario 1. What the fuck is this? The Wheel of Fun. Oh, he throws the hammers. suspicious. Are you sure you're not the hacker from Tetris 99? I'm in. Wait, those little fellers do have the Bowser stuff too? I thought it was just a star. Good, yes. <laughs> Fucking baby Mario's dying. We've, we've reached Baby Mario death saturation point. This power-up is so fucking dumb. Someone just said, slowly... Lose it. Oh, fuck. Kind of an accident, actually. I was gonna go back real quick. Someone said, losing baby ducks one at a time. It's like a mama duck. You know, a mama duck walking over a sewer grate. What? No, 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 Like, over a... I'm talking about, like, a sewer grate over a nice, um... Um... Oh, hey, bears. Over a nice, uh, fish tank. In a, in a nice place. Vinny, you lost points?
You lost like 1,500 points. Oh, that's cool. So why, when I touch them, do they damage me? They're brainwashed? Well, now they're brain dead. Only two left. That's okay, they can repopulate the village. That Kragnon has been brainwashed with a strange sprout by the Floro Sapiens. They aren't so tough, but if you stomp one, your score will go down. They are usually found in the mine looking for gems for King Crocus. I don't like that. But I accept my fate. And thus begin thus begins the story of how Mario entered Jacob's ladder. Oh look. was pointless. Oh no, it wasn't! I can't believe this game has a morality meter. Someone just wrote, Vincent Sauce, Pink Floyd is overhyped outside of two albums. Vinny, I just finished listening to Pink Floyd's discography. Aside from Dark Side and The Wall, they are incredibly overhyped. It's okay to be wrong about some things, because that's fine. I'd say that they're overhyped, um, for sure. However, I'm gonna say that the- the two albums... There's two bad albums, and the rest are good. How dare you. Whoa! Where in crack you guys come from? Seriously! Who are you, bruh? You're the- you're one of Flint's crew members, is that right? He's looking for you. Where? You, you know where Director is? Oh, that's where he is. Thanks. Hornfell's head back now. But first, you see other crew crackdowns with little sprout on top of head? Floral sapiens using sprouts to mind control crackdowns. They see you, they attack. Don't let guard down, bruh. Crack you later. You must be so tired. See, you know, there's more people. There's more people that I'm not gonna kill. Oh! Oh, fuck! Alright, I killed one. Accident. They'll understand, right? If you could only you could avoid them by flipping into 3D. I think I'm gonna have to get past them to see what's behind there. But you know, they're in my way. Oh, there's another one hidden in there. Okay, that's that's fine. 
also, let me, um, let me add one thing to my Pink Floyd, uh, comment, it, which is that those are not albums that you can listen to one time. Metal, Wish You Were Here, Animals in particular, take a couple listens, and those are my favorites. So I would, I would just say, maybe, uh, listen to, you know, listen again. They're definitely, uh, a grower type band, where they grow the more you listen. And some of the early stuff isn't that good. You probably don't want to listen to some of the other early stuff if you're not into it. Uma Guma, you could skip that one. The band thought Adam Hart Mother was their worst album. And, uh, I'd also skip Momentary Lapse of Reason, because that album is just almost devoid of anything. Worth a damn. I do like Saucerful and, um... Piper at the Gates of Dawn, though, quite a bit. Though, I will say that I like, um, I also like Adam Hart Mother a lot. And I don't know why they think that's their worst. I think that's a cool album. So there you go. Oh, oh, underrated. Obscured by Clouds. It's the album right before Dark Side. Totally not, not a very highly listened to album, but very good. And if you still don't like him, I will tell David Gilmore himself. <clears throat> I will have Gilmore send me his black strat. <laughs> Vinny, the first time you ever responded to me in chat was when I was knocking Waters is several sp species of small furry animals grooving with a Pict in a cave, or whatever the fuck the name of that stupid song is. That, I mean, is it even a song? Alright, we're gonna do this. This is gonna get claimed, by the way. See, they had this reputation. Apparently, they didn't really do hard drugs, but Sid Barrett did. They had this reputation that they needed to make psychedelic music all the time, because that was their audience, so they made some real psychedelic shit. Like this song. It's just animal noises. That's that's likely going to get claimed, by the way. The company that owns Pink Floyd's music, I'm not sure who it is, they're, they're probably going to claim that. That nonsense, that utter tripe. That... Fucking... Anyway. Vinny, my exercise trainer, thinks that Jimi Hendrix was the best guitarist that ever lived. What's your take? I don't know, I mean, I, you can find more technical guitarists that can do scales at lightning speed, if you're into metal. I, I think from a soul standpoint of, like, who could make the guitar sound like- oh. Like, from a soulful standpoint. Technical, too, but more just... The, you could, like, really, really, really... Just get lost in the guitar playing and the improv- Like, he would improvise. It wasn't all set out. It wasn't all, like, like mathematically kind of, like, set in his head. I'd say, yeah, Hendrix might be... I don't know, he's- I mean, it's- it's an easy answer. It almost seems like it's too obvious, but I... I wouldn't disagree. I love Hendrix. <clears throat> I've watched lots of live DVDs of Hendrix back in the day. And here's another one, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Yeah, yeah, live DVDs. Back before YouTube, you had to buy live DVDs. There's a big market for that.
Robert Fripp. Yeah, I'm sure you could... I'm sure you could have a thousand answers to this question. I don't think there's a right answer. I don't know. It's like the mine, uh, the, <laughs> it's like the minecart segments from Mario RPG, except you don't play them. This is a cool chapter. In this chapter, you get to enter a long digit code. You get to ride a minecart that you have no control over. You get to meet Crag Bears. Oh yeah, kill innocents. Wash the cave with the blood of the innocent. I just want to kill a couple, Stan. There's two left over there. They're, they're fine. They, they'll wake up and they'll be like, Whoa, weren't there more of us? Hey, you not mind controlled? You, you escaped from processing center, bruh? Monzo maybe ought to take the Richter there. Maybe Sprout on head mellow him out. You're one of that craggly gentleman crew members. Oh, sorry. You're one of that craggly gentleman's crew members. He requested your return. Where? You know the director? Ah, so that's where he was. Ah, I told Monzo, wait here, but Monzo bet he forgot. One second later. Job of Monzo, really lame. Thanks, bruh. Monzo, head back now. I'm just... Uh, I'm all messed up, you know? You can do some damage to them without killing them. Kinda cool. Oh fuck. Use the catch card? Wait, can you use the catch card on one of the on the crag gnomes? Benny, don't worry, I killed all of them when I was a kid. I feel a connection with you, chat member. Someone said Bowser's minions are penal are uh, brainwashed as well, but you don't get penalized for killing them. It's 
a good point. They undoubtedly would have been friendly because, uh, you know, Bowser's on my party now. So why do they deserve death? But these Kragnarns don't. We don't know what they, the Kragnarns posted on Instagram ten years ago. We have no idea. I'm sorry, I meant Instacrag. So what, a Goomba's a poison mushroom. Meanwhile, Goombers are cooler than most of the any uh, the other enemies or characters in this game. We have to deal with, you know, Toads in all the other Mario games. Every main character of a Mario game from this point forward is a Toad. Meanwhile, Go m remember Goombella from Mario Game Paper? Goombella was a good Goomber. Fuck! Can't jump and hammer at the same time. It's weird, because this game does masquerade as a 2D platformer, and it is! You know, it is. But it also, you know, it doesn't make it easy to do certain things. If you want to kill a piranha plant, you have to use this thing and then press down while jumping as Bowser. It's not very intuitive. It's- let's just say this. I don't mind the gameplay. I think when it's decent... When- It can be good. And I don't mind it most of the time. But this is not... ...a Mario platformer that I would... Okay, goodbye! This isn't exactly Mario platformer level. You know. Can ba can't climb this. Wait, really? Vinny, I think they're going more for streamlined RPG than platformer. Yes, I agree, and I like it. I like what's here. However, have you heard of Jack Off of All Trades, Master of None? It's good, but there are times where I wish I could swing a hammer in the air, or just do a little bit more. If you'll excuse the, uh, the pun. It flips- oh, god. It flips between genres, but it doesn't do either of them particularly amazing. What the game does do well is story. It does characters well. The creative world design. Humor. It does presentation. But I'm not gonna sit here and say that this is like... 
award-winning gameplay. It's just... it's just good. Vinny, where are you going? Um, I don't know. Did I get all the crew members? Someone said, and yet people call this the best Paper Mario game. I think they do because they like the story and everything. I get... I kind of get both sides of the argument now that I'm playing it. Dude is. It's a miraculous turn of events. I was reunited with my faithful camera Kragnons. But there was no time for celebration. We had to swoop to the aid of the kidnapped. With danger nibbling our heels, we ventured deeper into the Forbidden Cave. Forbidding Cave. To do so, we used the key to the last, the last unopened door in the Forsaken Labyrinth. <laughs> so, um, you do have the key, right? Let me grab that. Uh, what's that? You're cracking me. You never gave key. Oh, hmm, really? Where? What, what key? Yes, genius, a key! Wait, don't tell me you don't have it either! Uh, yeah, bruh, had key, but... Oh, yes, yeah, so you do have it! Good show, good show, yes! Give it here quickly now! No, bruh, had key, but not have key! You, you lost it! A tragic crew blunder ruins Cragley! <sighs> had the gods of adventure forsaken us! Nah, bruh, see, Cragley say, you lose this, so Cragley hold on to it. Cragley got key, bruh. Preposterous. If such a claim were true, there would be evidence in my pocket, which there isn't. Huh? Cragley, oh! A miracle struck, as if by magic, the long lost key had returned to my pocket. The cave defied Cragnon comprehension. It was a place of purest miracles. <laughs> right in his pocket figures, bro. What a crag. Yeah, serious. Big surprise. Lucky turn of events finding that key. I'm sure everyone contributed somehow. Now onward, we must make our way to the last unopened door to the horrid depths. If my research is correct, and it always is, then this key should open that door. Of course, through the door may lie a trap that will devour us all. Ho, ho, ho. Hey, what's that? You say you want to open the door no matter what lie and wait. Tremendous. Such bravery. I was planning on opening it myself, of course, but since you seem so passionate, not that I'm afraid or anything, don't be ridiculous. I mean, that's laughable. There's a fellow crag trotter. I know the heady thrill of the hunt. I'll yield to your lead. We'll head down first and, uh, first and, and await you by the door. Come down when you're ready. See you in two ticks. Hmm. 
It, that was an annoying character. What horror is crouched beyond the door? Excitement slanted the cave walls. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and open it now. He had the fucking thing in his pocket this whole time. Like, we don't need this many flips. Someone said, boy, this really drags out. No, 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 this really crags out. Is. It only took like four streams. You got any ideas for that new Paper Mario game? Yeah, make them big! Yeah, I, you can't, I mean, you, you can't let the correct path taint your exploratory desire. What if there's an item that I can't hold? Down here. I'm gonna want that for a second. Hey, bruh. Now, if you think about it, that one Kragnon wasn't going to have a good time. It, it was just stuck in some room. It, you know what I mean? Like, it, that Kragnon was not going to have a good life. But now it can live as a card. It can live on as a card. You want real danger? How about my duel with the foul Rainbowzilla? As the heroes descended into the Floro Caverns, Flint Cragley entertained them all. Oh, God. Boss, boss, Cragnon's heard that story 255 times, bruh. You making my Crag hurt. Bruh, if you count time, we weren't tied up, then it was 256 times. Mario and Co. glanced over at the weary faces of Flint's crew as they delved deeper. But a light grew. 
Was it a ray of hope from the pure heart or an evil illusion? Yeah, it's an overflow error, exactly. Cragly Ho! We plotted on uh tra traipsing all over all over all manner of beasts that gnashed fangs at us. And then now a sight too horrible to believe appeared before our eyes. Yeah. Boss, nothing happened yet, bruh. Trap easing, yeah, that's right. I know that, you Creighton! Sight too horrible to believe is still up ahead. We're going to look for it now. Come on, move! I was really hoping I wouldn't have to do this voice again. Whoa, wait up, bruh. Boss, no, Monzo won't not get left behind, bruh. So, this chapter has taken so long, it's it's gone this entire stream, and I haven't finished it. So my question is, is there a lot of this? Yeah. Alright, well, I, I'm probably gonna have to stop at the next checkpoint. be able to open that door by standing in front of it and pressing... No, what is this thing? Hmm. Oh, it's a small door. Tiny door. I thought it was an alarm. Alright, yeah, I think it's best to save here, and next time I play this, we will uh, begin on this chapter. It's a couple of long chapters so far. Like I said, I have my issues with this game, but I do have fun playing it. I like the secrets, I like all the little things that keep it interesting, and I do like the story, and I think Bowser is probably... Bowser's the best Mario character. There's just no way around it. So this may not end up being like a top 10 game for me. <laughs> that goes without saying. But it will most... It will most likely be something I end up feeling very good about. But, you know. Not Thousand Year Door, not even Paper Mario 64. But somewhere in... Just, just below that, I'd say. It's no Mother 3. Someone said, then why don't you try to see more of Bowser's dialogue? Well, oftentimes you'll be, you know, moving along, playing the game, and then talking to your chat. And then when that's happening, you forget to uh, switch to Bowser. Because you have to switch to characters so frequently. It's, it's something that I forget to do sometimes, you know. <clears throat> I lost some of my voice tonight. And I'm going to blame O'Chunks for that. So that's good. No, you know what? No, I'll blame myself. Anyway, thanks for watching. Here, here we go. Now we can do the art. This one's from Dapper Isopod. And uh, this is, if you weren't here yesterday, this was how meat is, is born, officially. 
from a yellow egg. Here's one from Salmiaki. And is this toast? <laughs> yeah, there was um there was a toast game yesterday. I don't remember the name of it. It's that weird fucking game where you get to press space to crunch. And the future game, right? Day in the future. That's the name of it. Thank you. Good stuff. Good art. This one's from Broken Sketch. Yeah, play the game right, Vineyard. Now that is shade thrown at the chat. Which I believe. Whoa. Excuse me. You're not allowed to belch on stream. In fact, you're not even allowed to say the word belch. No one's criticizing me for that. <laughs> not a single person. Why am I putting <laughs> why am I putting that on you? Um, I sat up and the air that was just stuck in there just was like, hey, you know what? I want to come out on stream. I want your viewers to hear this. You've gone on long enough. Let's just say um, I have a little gas that passed through my esophagus. Let's just say that instead of belching. Vinny Critical is going to sue you if you keep belching on stream. That is kind of his thing, isn't it? But anyway, broken sketch with the shade. Good job. This one's from 20 centipedes. And this is my... This is my drawing. Made better. It says some artistic liberties were taken. I think that's really cool. Dapper Isopod made this. It's a Mr. Saturn meat, or it says in the comments, meat stir sta Saturn, uh, whatever. I don't know, I just, I don't know anymore, man. It's just meat every day, all day, every day, meat. Now it's bread. Now we got a sandwich. Now it's a fucking sandwich stream. We had meat memes, now bread word memes, and it's just bread and, and fucking toast now. So now now we just need cheese memes, and then we have a full sandwich. Um, Hudson Saucy made this. It's a vine shroom. It's a vine shroom pixel. What would the vine shroom pixel be named? Shroom word. I don't know. V Vixel. That makes sense. That's good. This one's from Twitchy. Twitch T. And it's Resident Evil art. But is that Mr. Meat? It seems to be Mr. Meat and Scoot. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Here's one from Core Rowan, BRB, bright, very colorful. That'll definitely be used. Here's one from Bloomy. Here's Dementio. A little glowing. Nice work on that, too. Rainimations 99. It's Snake eating popcorn and getting a kernel stuck in his throat. Yep. Let me clarify and say that that's not the first time I've seen that. Or, or that particular idea. From Yes Posts, here's Mr. L. The mysterious Mr. L. Colonel. Who, who is this character? I don't know. Still don't know. This one's from Where Whiskey. What the fuck? It's um, a number of different types of vine shrooms in different styles, including a cowboy vine shroom. <laughs> nice work. 
Here's uh, one from Strange Love for one of our Red Vox songs in the garden with I I don't know if those are OCs or but I I I think the art is really nicely done. Like the glowing vine shrooms there, that's good. Someone said, wait, there's a corpse. I know, we have to dig it up. Someone call the cops. All right, this one's from Eigen Vector, and this is that weird fucking art game yesterday uh, with where it made me, it wanted the sky, and so I made something like this, but this is much, much better. That's uh, really cool. There's something, I don't know how to really put words to it, but there's uh, something kind of amazing. It happens so often that I've, you know, I, I've taken it for granted a little bit, which is something that I don't, I don't like. But um, when someone makes art, of something you draw like when I did the WarioWare sketches or yesterday or you know anytime anytime a game has me make something and then the chat draws their interpretation of it I really like that so good work Draconic Wolf 1 made this it's fine shroom in some forest dark shroom in forest actually but uh, also really great. I didn't do music tonight, but we're not really that far off from finishing the art, so I'm probably going to just... Yeah, I can put on a little bit of music. I got a new couple, couple new playlists. I just opened all of them at the same time. I just middle-clicked the music folder and like seven tabs opened. So here's some sponge art from Joey the Ravioli. Sponge is trying to fly. Good job. It's Mario World type sprite. Maybe that could be in that game. I don't know. This one's from Bob Patrick Seven, and you have some some masked people. Who who are who are these people? I don't know who they are. I don't know who any of them. Three mysterious fellows, Mr. M, Mr. V, and Mr. L. I don't know who these people are. They all have mustache that, that, that look very real. Real mustache. Pikmin made this. It's breadward. Like I said, we're getting meats and, and breads on the Buru these days. Chirpy Classic made this. Super Princess Bleach. <laughs> Man, that fucking Mario World Sponge ROM hack is probably going to be amazing if it ever happens. Here's one from Block 20. And, um... What would you call this art style? Or, like... What, it, not abstract. What, what would you even, like, really call it? Like graffiti-ish, it's graffiti-esque. Little jet set radio vibe going on here. Modern. It's modern graffiti street art jet set radio rapper anime someone else wrote. Representative abstract. Pointy. Someone just wrote pointy. This is very good pointy art. I like it. This one's from Tinsin. Born to T-Spin. Whirl is a block. KOM all 1984. I am a garbage man. Was that 410 billion misdrops? Sounds about right. Awesome. Here's one from Sweenix. <laughs> um, Vinny, it's a based on an English shirt. I don't know what you mean. I haven't seen it. Have you not seen the original meme? No. Um, Sweenix made Mr. Meat. So, nice work on that. Twilight. 
Saber made the search world is a fuck. <laughs> okay. Twilight Saber made this. It's a BRB featuring Mimi. World is a fuck. Live meme reaction. Here we go. Born to die. World is a fuck. Kill them all, 1989. I, I am a trash man. 410 billion dead cops. This is a real shirt. It appeared on Amazon. You can buy that on Amazon? Huh. Okay. <laughs> this world is a fuck. I agree that world is a fuck, though. I'm definitely in that mindset lately. Uh, listen. This one's from Todd M. And it's David Lynch. This is Lynchian. You got Vine Ryzen Lynch? Or is that supposed to be Eraserhead, um... What the fuck is the character's name? I forgot the character's name in Eraserhead. I, don't, I can't tell if it's supposed to be Lynch or the character. But... Obviously the baby is meat. It's both, maybe? Henry, yes, it's Henry. I'm gonna say it's both. It kinda looks like both of them combined, actually. This one's from Jorts Forever. Yeah, it says, first art piece, and it's bad, but I liked drawing it. It's gonna go on the fridge. I think it's great. Elena D made this. And... It's, a, you know, just a clear mug of shrooms. I wouldn't recommend drinking this. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it, but, you know... It's there if you need it. This is what happens when I leave my mugs in the sink for too long. Just don't do the dishes for, like, fucking two years. <clears throat> and then you get this. Here's one from VR Josh. It's not animated this time, but it's uh, made by creating pixels in Tilt Brush, then copy-pasting them to create the pixel art. Realized after the fact that I should have left the empty column on one side to make it realistic. Yeah. It's, yeah, I mean... If you leave an empty column, it's like... People were like, Vinny, stop building spires in the middle. So... That would be accurate. But this is tonight's stream in a nutshell. Mario and Tetris. Good job. This one's from Sir Super Turbo Donkey. Oh god, you donkey! Not a Bappy Gam chat. Super Crag on next. Hey, 10th place was quite an accomplishment for me. I was very happy about that. Here's one from Game 4 Brains. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There's Breadward. And... Is that supposed to be me as King Paper Mario? I, I missed... I typed pleb instead of, uh... <laughs> instead of please. Plebward. It's another meme. Oh. This is me after people post memes I don't get on the Buru. Adam RL made this. Tet Yacht. This works on so many fucking levels, Jesus. I really relate to this art. You know the scene in Ferris Bueller when Cameron is staring at the painting and the music plays and it just keeps zooming in and it's Cameron's face and then the painting, Cameron's face and then the painting and then it zooms and it zooms and it zooms. Yeah. From War God 99X. Mario crushing the Crag Bros. Just totally fucking destroying them. That's what I assume Mario's destroying.
the music is nice for this. Anyway, thanks for watching. This was some really nice art tonight. I appreciate it, everybody. Um, I just thank you that you still watch. Tonight was an obnoxious stream for me. And uh, I, I make little notes in my mind. Like, I'm like, all right, that was an obnoxious moment. That was an obnoxious moment. And then I tally at the end of the night. And, I'm, and I, I think to myself, well, shit, I don't care. But it was an obnoxious uh, night here and there. And I hope you enjoyed some of it, at least. And, uh... <laughs> It just depends on the games I'm playing. It depends on if I'm in a food coma or not, you know. But uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, more than likely. We'll do some Resident Evil. I keep saying that I'm going to stream a new game. I'm going to start a new game. And like I said, I have like three or four possible candidates in mind. And yet, it's been very difficult to choose one. Some related to technical limitations. Some related to me not wanting to touch a crusty 3DS. But, um... I'm not gonna tell you all of them because I don't- I don't want to- Because here's the thing, if I say the names of the games... ...and I don't do them... ...you know, people get upset if I don't do them and then they want them. And I- you know, I- I get it. There's lots of- Every game that I could possibly play has at least a couple really die-hard fans. So... But, you know, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out soon. Um, you know, we'll do more Pap Mario in, the, in a couple days. Resident Evil DLC is just gonna be, like, torturous from here on out, so I don't expect too much from it. But, uh, I'll do at least one more stream of that. Maybe more Dead Cells this week. They need to- they need to patch that shit. Crossbows are way too loud. Poison is- the frames are fucked from poison. Um, some of the balancing was not that great. Love jump. Um, but yeah, no, you guys have to, uh, you know, I guess just wait and find out what I stream next, and, um, hopefully... Hopefully it'll be fun, and, uh, what else? Oh. Still waiting on that Wargroove patch, but I'd like to stream a little bit more of that game. That game is... That game is cool. Just needs a little bit more love. So... Yeah. All right. That's it. Good night. And uh, if you want to watch some other streamers, twitch.tv slash team slash vine sauce or vine sauce.com. Or you can also go to uh, right here. You can just wait here rather and you don't have to do anything and you can get the auto hosts. And, and that's like for, you know, when I'm not around as well, like in that Radiohead song, it goes not around. And then you can wait here for the auto host and it'll take you to a number of good streamers who that whomst you may enjoy. So, take care, see you, goodbye.